I'm going to show you how to work with your clay tile. I'm going to take my tile out of the bag that I have. You'll have to have a bag because anytime you're not working on one of your pieces, you always want it to stay moist. So as we see, I have my art design here. It's kind of boring. It doesn't really have any kind of designs on it. So I'm going to later kind of scratch on some designs. Here, I'm going to go to a white box that I have in the room. I'm going to put down this lace. You don't have to put down the lace. You can if you want. I have all kinds of textury things in there. And then if you just lightly roll it over your tile, place it on top, lightly roll the rolling pin, lightly. Pull it away and then you have a texture. That's up to you if you want to do a texture. I now need to attach on my word. So as we can see, the word hangs out a little bit. Okay, that's okay. We don't want to hang it out too much though. So I'm going to score. You can use the toothbrush for a scoring tool or you can use any tool that has kind of zigzaggy tops. That's up to you. So you can score with the toothbrush. You can also score with the zigzaggy tool. Basically, you want to make scratches into your clay. You can also score with the scribe. That's the wooden stick looking thing. And you can also score with the edge of this. You can also cut with the edge of this too. All right. So I'm going to kind of figure out where it's at. So I'm going to put it right about here. And then I'm going to kind of score underneath those parts too. Basically scoring is kind of lines going crazy. Kind of like a crazy tic-tac-toe. I'm kind of picking it up and lifting it off to see where I'm going to score underneath. Because I don't really want it to hang out all over the place either. All right? If I see a little bit in there, I can always kind of lightly dab that out. So that's my score. Slip is not in the bottle. If you looked on my WordPress, I have told that to you because I actually put all those pictures up for your handbook. Uh, slip is a mixture of water and clay. You lightly squeeze it out. And then you're going to lightly put it around. And think of it kind of like Legos. It's glue for your clay. And you know how Legos kind of clamp to each other? That's kind of what you're doing. So clay has a memory. Lightly tap it with my hand. As you can see, I'm kind of pressing out accidentally some of my designs. That's okay, that's gonna happen. I'm gonna take the back of these tools, or maybe these tools here, any one will do, so I can kind of blend and mush one part of the clay of my base relief that's up top. I'm embossing, so this way I can help to make it stay well. All right, so then, you're going to do that all the way around. And then when you're done, that's the base relief because it raises up. Now you want to emboss. So I have the word art, but for the T I have a tongue. So I'm going to draw an incised line in. And let's say that I want to carve out this back part here to make my teeth pop out. I can use these sculpting tools to help carve those out. You can also use the edges of here to help carve those out. Now. The teacher says it was cleanup time. Well, we gotta clean up. Any clay pieces? Because that's my coil piece that I later, oh, we got an announcement. That I later wanna add on to here. I can't use it today right now because we have to go and clean. So I'm going to carefully take my bag. I'm gonna put up all the tools. Help the people at the table put up all the tools. Some have a map, so this way you know where all the tools go. I'm going to take the box that has my name on all four sides. And then I'm going to carefully put the bag over here. Any extra clay will need to go in the clay bag. Because I don't need this extra clay that needs to go in the clay bag. Teacher will tell you where the clay bag is. And then I'm going to take my tile, carefully lay my tile in here. And then you see this piece right here? I want to work on this later. Use the hydration machine to lightly spray my tile. Then I'm going to place the bag over that. 
place the coil on top. Notice I didn't put the coil on top of the clay. Lightly spray. Make sure not to make it too tall. And then I have my box here. It has my name on it. And then I'm going to put it on the shelf. I'm going to make sure not to stack it on top of anybody else's. So we're going to have to work to spread those out. All right. Thank you very much.